you're getting just as many benefits from the eccentric, the lowering phase, as you are the concentric, the raving and contracting phase up here, all right? Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com and welcome back for another video. This video, I'm gonna show you how to grow your arms with dumbbells only, and I'm gonna give you a full workout. That being said, let's get started. All right guys, before I get into the actual build your arm workout using nothing but dumbbells, here's the thing. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, man, please subscribe to our channel. Also share it with some of your buddies, some of your family members so we can continue to grow our channel, continue to reach more people and help more people. All right, also make sure you click on that bell icon. That way you are notified every time we upload a new video. All right, now for the arm workout. Here's the way this is gonna be structured. I'm gonna give you three supersets. What a superset is, it's back-to-back -back exercises, all right? So you're gonna be working a tricep exercise. We're gonna shoot for three sets of eight to 10 reps. That's gonna be the same for all three of these supersets, okay? Three sets, eight to 10 reps. Here is how the structure is going to go. You're gonna do a tricep exercise. All eight to 10 reps immediately go into a bicep exercise with no rest. The only rest is just getting into that next movement, all right? After you've done that superset, you're gonna rest 60 seconds, and then you're gonna do set number two. Another tricep, another bicep. Rest 60 seconds, and then do your third set. Once you've done your third set, tricep and bicep, then you're gonna move on to the next superset, a different group of exercises. And you're gonna do the same thing, okay? Tricep, bicep, tricep, bicep. One key point before we get into the actual workout. I'm also choosing pre-exhaust movements prior to doing a slight compound movement. Compound movement is more of a mass builder, okay? So we're gonna finish your triceps with a close grip tricep press, which is typically one of the mass movements. So a lot of times you do mass movements first because you've got all your energy stores. Here's the thing, when you're older though, you don't wanna have to utilize a lot of weight because that's hard on your joints. When you're doing close grip tricep presses, it can be hard on your shoulders, your elbows, even your wrists. So with us putting it towards the end of the workout, you're doing all of the other pre-exhaust movements first. So your arms, your triceps and biceps, are they're already gonna be fatigued and you don't need to use near as much weight at the end to finish them off, okay? So that's the whole purpose for the way this is structured. So the first exercise I'm gonna give you, uh, you're gonna want a flat bench and we're gonna go into a dumbbell skull crusher. Dumbbell skull crusher, here's the thing. I really like these, but you gotta make sure you're doing them correctly, okay? If you notice, my hands are straight over my face, pretty much, right outside my head. When I'm in this position, everything's resting, okay? I'm just sitting here hanging out. So what you wanna do to start this movement is initiate the triceps. You do that by taking the dumbbells behind your head. Boom, right there, right there, your triceps are initiated. That's gonna be at the top of your movement for every rep. So what we're gonna do from here, bring the dumbbells down, keeping your elbows fixed, contract back here. Don't bring them up every time. If you bring them up, then you're gonna be resting and taking tension off. So you wanna keep them back here. Again, you're gonna be shooting for eight to 10 reps. I'll show you a few more of these so you see what I'm doing. Stretch, hard contract, stretch, hard contract, stretch, hard contract. All right, you're gonna do eight to 10. And again, immediately get up, come over and go into eight to 10 bicep curls. We're doing dumbbell bicep curls. I like a supinated grip for these. It's gonna allow for a deeper stretch. Supinated meaning palms are away from your body and you're keeping them up. Away from your body, keeping them up. The reason I'm saying that is if you come in this way, that's more of a neutral grip if your palms are facing each other. This opens up your biceps and allows for a deeper stretch. Key movement here, or the key techni technical part I wanna show you here is keeping your shoulders back and keeping your elbows pinned and coming up. Don't bring your elbows up and don't round your shoulders. If you round your shoulders, you're shortening the range of motion. Same thing if you're bringing your arms here and then bringing your elbows up, you're shortening that range of motion. Keep those elbows back and keep the tension on the biceps constantly, okay? So th this is gonna be your first superset. So like I said, after you've done your eight to 10 here, you would put the weight down, 
rest 60 seconds, then do set two. Just like that, another tricep dumbbell skull crusher, finish the eight to 10 again, and then back into the bicep movement, all right? So that's how the structure goes. Now that we've done our three sets, we're gonna go into our second superset. Second one we're gonna be doing, let me show you here. This is gonna be a dumbbell overhead tricep extension. Dumbbell overhead tricep extension. You're holding one dumbbell, getting it over your head. And the key thing here, if you're starting this position, you notice my elbows are pointed out. You wanna bring them in towards the front and then get a big stretch at the bottom of the movement here. Big stretch, big contraction. Big stretch with every rep, big contraction. Stretch. So again, same thing. You're gonna shoot for eight to 10 reps here. Eight to 10 with every single exercise we're gonna be doing. Immediately after you've done those, you're gonna do a dumbbell close grip plate curl. Basically what that is, you've got a single dumbbell, you're grabbing it right under. This is an actual hex dumbbell. A lot of dumbbells have actual plates, round plates, square plates. That's why this is a plate curl, right? But key point with this also, chest up, shoulders back. You notice the stretch isn't gonna be near as deep, but hard contraction at the top. Go as deep as you can without bringing your shoulders forward, okay? That's what I'm saying, keep the chest out, shoulders back. It's all about the contraction at the top. The benefit to doing this close grip style like this is you're putting a lot more emphasis on the long head of the bicep, which is the outside. A lot of the other regular curls that you do, alternating curls, incline curls, most of the work is on the short head, which is the ball on the inside. As you bring the arms closer, this is how biceps work. Where my finger is, that's what's being targeted the most. As I rotate my arms out, if I'm doing a wide curl, that's what's being targeted. As I come here, you've got the center mass. As I come in, it's more outside long head, okay? So that's the goal here. Give you that little wide bicep look, that little 3D look. So that's why we're doing that plate curl, all right? Three sets of each of those. Now that you've done your six sets, like I said, you did three sets of the first superset, three sets of the second. So now your triceps are finally gonna be fatigued and they're already gonna have blood in them, blood volume, which is great for helping them grow. And the more lactic acid you also pull in your muscle, the more growth hormone get, that gets pulled in your muscle. So that's where all the main benefits come from, from doing that. All right, so now we're getting into our mass tricep movement. And the cool thing is, since you've already pre-exhausted the triceps, you don't have to go as heavy, all right? So I'm gonna use a light weight here to show you how to do these correctly. But just to reiterate what I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video, typically most methods when you're younger and your goal is to just strictly build mass, a lot of guys back in the day is you go straight to this movement. So if I were to go straight to this movement, first exercise that I've done today, my weight is almost gonna double. It's gonna take that much to get stimulus to my triceps. But now that I've already got the blood in there, I've already broken them down, now I don't have to go near as heavy. The other benefit to that, like I mentioned, is your joints. It's gonna be a lot easier on your shoulders and your elbows and your wrists. All right, long-winded, I know, but I just had to get my point across there. Here's the key to doing the close grip tricep press. This is similar to a dumbbell, uh, uh, to a barbell close grip press. You probably heard of the close grip bench press. With that, the barbell keeps you in a fixed position just like this, and that is extremely hard on your elbows and your shoulders, all right? The benefit of the dumbbells, you'll notice the rotation. As I rotate this way, I'm getting external rotation in my shoulders, which gives more shoulder clearance. Dumbbells are really close together, elbows are rotated in, and you wanna brush your elbows down to the side of your body. Also, initiate the lower ring movement with the elbows. Bend at the elbows. See how my elbows are bending? Right there. You'll notice my arms pretty much even with my torso. Straight back up. I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. Just like that, elbows up. The reason I'm saying it that way is because this is not meant to be a bench press for your chest. This is a tricep movement. If I were to do this and I wanted to work my chest, 
I would start bending at my shoulders. You see my shoulders coming down now? Shoulders, 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 shoulders. And look how low my elbows are. They're way under my body now. You see that? That's where my full chest stretch is. You don't want this to be a chest exercise. So that's why I'm saying you wanna bend at the elbow as opposed to the shoulders. Bend, 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 bend. Just like that. And my elbows are even with my torso, not under my torso. Straight back press. Let me show you one more. There, press. All right. Okay, so that's the mass tricep exercise we're gonna be using. Last bicep exercise that I'm gonna show you is an across body hammer curl. And you're gonna do these in an alternating fashion. So again, we're working the long head of the bicep. You're also getting forearm work when you're doing this too, okay? So cross, down, cross, down. Good contraction. Also make sure you lower the weight under control. From here, control it. Flex, control. The reason I say that, I don't want you to get up here and then just drop. Up here and then drop. You'll see a lot of people doing that. They think it's all about lifting and not lowering. You're getting just as many benefits from the eccentric, the lowering phase, as you are the concentric, the raising and contracting phase up here, all right? Cross body, boom, boom, just like that. So, same with the other two supersets. These are gonna be done back to back. No rest between after you've done your eight to 10 reps here. And it's eight to 10 for each arm. So don't do one, two, three, four. One, one, two, two, three, three. It's eight to 10 with each arm, okay, when you're doing these. After you've done it, rest your 60 seconds. Then you're gonna do your second set. Do both, rest 60, and then do your third. One other point I wanna make before I get off this video. I'm saying rest 60 seconds, but I know we're all starting. You may be in a different starting point. You may be struggling with your muscular endurance. When you work like this, when you do supersets, then it's gonna acquire, uh, it's gonna take some muscular endurance as well. So if you have to rest 90 seconds after each superset to make sure you've recovered enough to do a second set and a third set, man, rest 90 seconds, all right? At the end of the day, go at your own pace, but just focus on progress from week to week. So if you're taking 90 seconds rest, that's okay. Next workout, try to take 85 seconds rest. Next workout, 80 seconds. Try to get down to the 60. The more you progress that way, that's progressive overload. You're teaching your body that, hey man, you're not gonna get used to what I'm doing because I'm constantly gonna be changing. So your body has to respond by building more muscle, by getting stronger, building more endurance. So you're gonna get tremendous benefits when you stay ahead and you don't allow your body to adapt. All right, man, that's all I got for this video. So if you have any questions, comment below, let me know. Also, if you like the video, man, give me a thumbs up, let me know. That way I know you like this type of video. Other than that, that is all that I got. Get busy, get after it, God bless.